Okay. So I think um is anyone have any questions? Mohan Adra? Okay, no. So if so, I will end my presentation. and Mrs. Amar. I'm Dr. Shahida, specialized in oncology. So I'm here to discuss about the result that you have test last week. So Miss Alia, are you okay if I discuss the result with your mother? Unfortunately, the result is not like what we are thinking about. So I'm sorry to inform you that we have diagnosed your daughter with a brain cancer. Oh, uh, no, no. How is that possible? What can we do? My husband has suffering brain cancer for 5 years. I don't want to experience this again. I believe this is incredibly difficult. We are here to support both of you. So, what do you think the best treatment option for my daughter? Given the type and stage of your daughter's brain cancer, I recommend starting as chemotherapy as part of your treatment plan. Chemotherapy? Is it effective? My father has died even after doing chemo. Don't worry, Alia. We will monitor your progress. Adjusting the treatment as needed, it is a crucial step to fight against the cancer. No, I don't want to do chemo. I will die anyway. It's true, Doctor. After what had happened to my husband, I don't believe in any chemotherapy. Well, if both of you think so, I can force you to accept the chemotherapy. This is not the right way. Um, what if I choose to not do the chemotherapy? We respect your decision and we want you to feel confident before making decisions regarding your care. It is critical to go for advantage and disadvantage for each option and we will discuss about the potential effect of not doing chemotherapy before you make the decision. Doctor, I'm very worried about how it might affect my daily life. That's a valid concern. Even though chemotherapy might be difficult, many individuals manage to lead busy lifestyle while undergoing the treatment. Together, we will plan a strategy that minimizes the interaction and needs service. Our team is available to assist you practically, physically, and emotionally. Wait, due to Dr. Shu's persuasive argument, Mrs. Amal suddenly remembered her husband's will. Amal. <coughs> Alia. I don't think I will recover anymore. Don't say that. Who will take care of us if you are not with us anymore? Yes, Dad, please don't leave us. Amal. Please. Promise to me. No matter what happened, you will always take care of our little princess. Always prioritize the treatment. May I see you in Jannah. appreciate your honesty, doctor, but can we have some time to think about it? Absolutely, it is crucial for you to feel comfortable with the decision you make. Take your time and we will schedule another appointment for you to have for any question or concern you may have. Our goal is to provide you all the information and to help you making the best decision for your health. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, satu, dua, tiga. 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 Ok